NearlyDanish.com. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! All right, so today I'm taking it a bit easier on you guys. We're doing a previous test. So this is an actual test. Let's see how you guys do on this. So with all the knowledge that you have, can you pass a real test? Let's see. Definitely seen this before. All right, so this is one of the frequently asked questions. This is really good, round of applause. So um, uh, most people have accumulated this knowledge so far. Only four people got this wrong. Please fill that knowledge gap, okay? Hopefully um, this is not your first time. Well, actually, hopefully this is your first time because if, if this is not your first time and you're still getting this wrong, then you know you still have some work to do. Um, yeah, so plug the knowledge gap. It will show up on your profile. You will show up, you know, you your name is already in one of the leagues. Work on the question so you can, you know, advance through the leagues. All right, next one. Also frequently asked. Hopefully most of you get this right. All right. Even more people got this right. Round of applause. So you can imagine if you were actually in this test, you'd be doing well so far. It's only two questions in, but let's see. Um, three people got this wrong. It, it'll show up on your profile. Fix that later. All right, so people fell out of the top five. Next one. Also frequently asked. So, anyways, let's finish this and I'll, I'll have a word to say about this. Okay, so this is a frequently asked question. I can see a whole bunch of people have gotten this wrong. 16 people got this wrong. So after World War II, um, a lot of the European countries were destroyed and they needed help with building up uh, the infrastructure again. And the USA gave out loans um, to a whole bunch of the year, well, almost all of them, um, to rebuild the infrastructure. And that was called the Marshall Plan. Forgotten why it's called the Marshall Plan, but that's what it was called. Um, as you can see, um, this, is a, this is an official test, okay? So I'm, I hope you're beginning to see what I mean by the test is a mixture of frequently asked questions and questions that you've never seen before. So far, we are on question three, and all of them are frequent, at least um, up until question number three, frequently asked questions, okay? So let's move on and uh, let's see what we find out next. Oh, by the way, Peanut, I can see that uh, you missed a whole bunch of sessions and um, you fell. Actually, what am I saying? You haven't cleaned up your, your answers because if you do, then you I think you'll be very high in the gold league. But anyways, that's just a side comment. Sama is the highest climber up 20 places. Excellent. All right, next one. This, at the time, was a new question. And as you can see, it's from chapter five. Okay, so this is this is what I was also saying the last time. Most, well, not most, a lot of the new questions come from chapter five. Okay, so that chapter is very important. It's very important that you spend time there because there's a lot of potential new questions coming from there. However, there is, um, there is a, uh, um, what do you call this thing now? 
new information in the book. So the book changed in August 2023 and a whole bunch of new information was added. There's going to be at least one question, come, one, new, one or two new questions coming from there, okay? And by the way, there's quizzes on the website for that section as well. Um, I can see that people's weak spots are beginning to show. 19 people got this wrong. We are only on chapter four. All right, next one. All right, so we have uh, everybody, every, everyone here in this top five is in the gold league. Um, these people have been practicing. There's Krish, Jimmy, Fazakas, Sessi, and Trey. Ellie is um, up 10 places. Great job. Um, we're still on question number four. You've seen this before. Yes, so the workers, um, the Social Democratic Party is very connected to the workers. And um, the workers usually always vote for the Social Democratic Party. That trend has continued even up until now. Most people that work in the public service vote Social Democrats. Um, we've got seven people, not bad, but the weak spots are beginning to show. Um, don't worry, these sessions are for you to figure out your weak spots. Later on, you plug them up, okay? All right, so top five reshuffling again. All right, so we're at question number five. We've got Krish, Sassy, Jimmy, Trayon, and Titan. I think all of these people are in the gold league. Um, Tom is the highest climber up five places. Excellent. We've got 40 questions to go. I have a comment for this. This was a new question at the time. So this question had never shown up in any of the previous tests. Um, and also there's an update to this. Um, there are now 57,000 people in Greenland. So that was one of uh, the pieces of information that was updated in the book. However, you guys did well in this. Only four people got this wrong. Round of applause. All right, so Jimmy fell out. Um, five players hit an answer streak of three. Great job. Next one. You've seen this before. This is one of the frequently asked questions. Let's see how you guys are doing this. Oh, wow. Wow! Only three people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Now you know what you don't know. Round of applause for you guys. You're doing really well. <laughs> All right. So some movement in the top five. Five players reached an answer streak of four. Next one. Of course, we know what this is. Frequently asked as well. Oh, wow. Wow. Perfect score. Okay. Uh, round of applause. Okay, so I can see you guys are getting, uh, you guys seem to have these FAQs on lock. This is really good. It's very encouraging. All right. Brenda is making a comeback with three in a row and she's on fire. She's on fire. All right, next one. You've seen this before.
I, I hope you guys are beginning to actually experience the progress that you've made the last month. Almost perfect as well. Uh, 1973. This was also in the Kahoot on Wednesday. <clears throat> Today is Sunday, yeah. So that was the Kahoot on Wednesday. Anyways, only three people got this wrong. It will show up. <clears throat> it will show up on your profile. So fix that, okay? Swag, I'm glad to hear that. All right, next one. Who fell out? Okay, anyways, I don't know. Um, LB's making a comeback with three in a row. I'm guessing LB's a dude. Oh my! He's on fire! Next one. <clears throat> You've seen this before. It's FAQ as well. Yes, so majority of uh, the workers in Denmark are a member of a file for eating. It's about 70%. And the number of people in file for eating has been going down over the years. All right. Static top five. Static top five. Steve has a streak with 10 correct answers in a row. Perfect score. And he's on fire. Oh my! He's on fire! All right, so we are at... We are at question number 10 right now. So we have 35 questions to go. You've seen this before. This is an FAQ. I think so far we've only run into about two new questions. So this was a particularly easy test. Only two people got this wrong. This is an FAQ. So whenever I say FAQ, what that means is that this is a question that you definitely need to know the answer to because it has a high probability of showing up in the next test. All right. Two people got this wrong. It will show up on your profile. Uh, clean that up later. Next one. All right. So um, it's only been slight movement in the top five. Five players just hit an answer streak of six. Great job. Next one. And uh, this was, I think, a new question at the time. <laughs> or was it? Can't remember. But this is not, this is a not so frequently asked question. So this happened in the 70s where the price of oil went up and because Danish industry was very dependent on oil to run, um, things shut down and, and it caused an economic crisis. Something like this happened again in, in the 90s, I think. can't remember exactly. But anyways, um, only eight people got this wrong. So um, now you know what you don't know. Now you know what you don't know. Next one. All right, so Houston is climbing the charts. Bet is making a comeback with three in a row. Oh my! He's on fire! Frequently asked question as well. Oh, wow. Almost perfect score. Round of applause. Okay, only one person got this wrong. Fix that later. Oh, Houston jumped two spots to number two. Okay. Um, everyone in this top five is in the gold league. So they are the usual suspects. Three players have reached an answer streak of eight. Excellent. Next one. All right, this is the most frequently asked question. So let's see how you guys do on this. If there's any question that you definitely need to know the answer to, it's this one. 
It's appeared in different forms on 12 tests. Okay, so I can see that five, no, seven people have got this wrong. You definite, this is question number one, okay? This is the question that you need to know the answer to. All right, so please make sure that you fix this. It will show up on your profile, so fix that later. Houston, did you get this wrong? Or were you just not quick? Okay. Four players reached an answer streak of 11. Um, moving to question number 15 now. This is a new question, or was a new question at the time. Okay, so 10 people got this wrong. The Paris Agreements from 2015 is about uh, greenhouse gases. Okay, 10 people got this wrong. You'll fix that later. Now you know what you don't know. Okay, so Houston is out, Peanut is in. Javid is back with an answer streak of three and he's on fire. Oh my, he's on fire! Okay, um, at the moment we have Chris, Tran, Titan, Peanut and Darby. They are all in the gold league. They've been very consistent. I've seen these names over and over again. You've seen this before? Okay, um, 13 people got this wrong. This is an FAQ. Paul Schluter was the only um, this, uh, conservative People's Party prime minister, and he had one of the longest reigns, 11 years. All right, fix that later. Static top five. Static top five. This was a combo breaker. Three players dropped their answer streak of 12. That's bad. Sorry, guys. Next one. Yeah, this is a no brainer. All right, 13 people got this wrong. So the question is, was Denmark um, invaded by the Germans on the First World War? And the answer is no. Um, read the question slowly, make sure you understand the question, and then go ahead. Let's have a look at this leak. I wanted to mention some things. Where's Peanut? Uh, I see. Okay, so he's in the Silver League, but he hasn't, Peanut, you haven't cleaned up 151 questions and you have 200, your score is 291K. So 600 times 151 is going to skyrocket you straight into the Gold League. So go here and clean up your questions, man. You have a lot to catch up on, okay? All right. Moving to the next one. Static. Top five. Static top five. Um, Ceci is back with an answer streak of three. I'm guessing Ceci is a girl. She's on fire. <laughs> okay. Next one. You've seen this a whole bunch of times.
This is an FAQ. Yes, round of applause. I'm very happy. Um, it looks like a majority of you are doing really well in these FAQs. That means that you have actually figured out the pattern. Only two people got this wrong, so fix that. This is an FAQ, which means that this is a question that you definitely need to know the answer to. All right, so Peanuts is now on the podium at number three. Four players reached an answer streak of four. All right, only one person got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Fix that. Trayon is on fire. 19 correct answers in a row. It's got a perfect score. Perfect score. Oh my, he's on fire. All right, Trayon is also in the gold league. He is in the top 10. All right, next one. Of course we know the answer to this. Who said 38? Okay, um, well, now you know what you don't know. Thought this was going to be perfect, but it's 98 communes. All right, Houston is back in the top five. Six players hit an answer streak of four. We are closing on the halfway mark. This was a new question at the time. Yes, so in the Middle Ages, um, Denmark was a Christian country, but it was also under the Pope, the Catholic Church. And in the 1500s, that changed, 1536 to be exact. Martin Luther came with his Protestant ideas, and the Danish king saw that as an opportunity to take over the church, and he did. There was a civil war, but the Protestants won. And um, yeah. 20 people got this wrong. I'm actually quite, oh, well, okay, not so surprised because this was a new question at the time. But if you understand like the, the context of the history of uh, Christianity in Denmark, you'd understand that this was actually, um, back in the day, it was Catholic Christianity. All right, next one. Darby back in the top five. Bear is making it um, or up four places, sorry. Excellent. Houston, Martin Luther came with the idea, but the king saw that as an opportunity to take over the church. And that's why the king took over the church and created that's Polkakirken, and that's why the king is the head of the church. And also that's why um, the, the monarch in Denmark must always be Christian. So the monarch is the only person that doesn't have religious freedom in Denmark. All right. Um, on to the next one. I think this was a new question at the time as well. All right, so yeah, you can see this is a weak spot. Okay, so I, I, I'm guessing that you're beginning to see what I mean by the exam being a mixture of FAQs and new questions. You can see here that majority of the people's weak spots here is a new question, which is the reason why I keep on emphasizing. You need to practice with the quizzes on the website. 
to cover that part so that this doesn't happen in the actual test. Okay? Um, also, this test, the difficulty of the test depends on the number of new questions. So when I did the analysis, right, every time there was a huge number of people failing, I would see that there was a correlation between that and the number of new questions in the test. So to avoid that happening in the next test, please practice on the website with all the questions that you see marked as potential new question, okay? All right, for the people that got this wrong, it will show up on your profile. And um, now you know what you don't know. Now you know what you don't know. Um, Enhel's listing was uh, voted in in 1994. What I would suggest is make a list of all the political parties in parliament at the moment. The, days, uh, the dates that they were created, who is the leader, um, and when they were first voted, voted into parliament, because they could ask questions about any of those. All right, next one. Okay, so Peanut fell right out. That's a weak spot for him. At the moment, we have Chris Trayan, Titan, Darby, and Houston. They are all in the gold league, if I'm not mistaken. Trayan is on fire. I think he has a perfect score. Perfect score. Oh, my! He's on fire! Next one. This was also a new question at the time. So you can see it's like these weird, obscure type questions. Yeah, so it lasted less than a day. So when uh, the Germans invaded uh, Denmark, on 9th of April, 1940, there was resistance from the uh, from the Danish army, but that lasted like just some hours. And then they surrendered. Um, this was a new question at the time. Um, I'm actually surprised a lot of people got this right, but round of applause to you guys. Um, seven people got this wrong. It will show up on your profile. Right, so a little bit of a top five reshuffle. Up three places, Rue is the highest climber. Great job. We are more than halfway through now. This was a new question at the time as well. So I think so far we've run into about five new questions. Yes. So um, <clears throat> six people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Now you know what you don't know. This was a new question at the time. Plug this knowledge gap. Practice with the quizzes on the website. Uh, a whole bunch of emojis is making come back three in a row. I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. And he or she is on fire. I'll say it's a he. Oh my! He's on fire! Titan now on the podium at number three. We are at question number 25. We have 20 questions to go. Yes, we've seen this before. This is one of the most frequently asked questions. So hopefully you all get this right and I can give you an exposure. Um, so the Andels Bevelsen started in the second half of the 1800s. This is one of the most frequently asked questions. They ask it in different forms over the years. Please familiarize with the, um, familiarize yourselves with this question. The eight people that got this wrong, plug that knowledge gap. We're moving on to the next one. It's a static top five. Static top five. Peanut back in the game three in a row. Oh my! He's on fire! Peanut, man. I know you can do this. You've got a lot of potential. 
You are gold league material, man. Come on. Okay, so um, coincidentally, this was the year that uh, the queen was celebrating her 50th year of being the queen in Denmark. And this was potentially a kind of first question, but they made it a history question. Um, four people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. She became queen in 1972, and she is currently the longest sitting monarch in Denmark's history. And she overtook Christian IV for that title, for that record. All right, we're moving on to the next one. Houston back on the podium. The guy is back, man. Excellent. Great job. Uh, 14 players just hit the answer streak of four. Next one. This was a new question at the time. I hope you guys are reading the book as well. <laughs> Please read the book. Or listen to it, or whichever works for you. Because as you read the book, the, the quizzes become easier. And as you do the quizzes, reading the book becomes easier. So it, it's a feedback loop. Um, NFS Grundvik um, wrote most of the Psalms in the Danish Psalm book. Um, 21 people got this wrong. So this is definitely a weak spot. Read the section on NFS Grundvig. Um, there's a whole section of the book dedicated to him. He's very important. Um, and I think he's the most important, uh, well, very important for the Folklore High School because it was his ideas that helped found them. All right, moving on. Houston is out again. Guess he got that wrong. Okay. Nine players have just hit an answer streak of five. This was a new question at the time. And this is from chapter five. So remember what I said. We've seen two new questions from chapter five. All right, so this is definitely a weak spot. Um, so the couple, Anna Anka and Michael Anka were painters 18 people got this wrong static top five static top five round of applause for these guys in the top five man you guys man not only are you in the gold league you guys have been putting in mad work and you've been really consistent i've seen your names at almost every single kahoot so round of applause All right, so Olga is back in the game three in a row. That's the first time I've seen Olga's name. She's on fire. Well done. Next one. New question at the time. Also from chapter five. So three new questions from chapter five. Right, so you can see another weak spot. Okay, so to make sure, and like I always say, right, these Kahoot sessions, it's a simulation of the test. So better for you to come here and things like this happen in these simulations than in the actual test. So plug this, plug your knowledge gap. Chapter five is very important. It's very important. Make sure you do all the quizzes there. Read that section. Read the whole book, but that section as well. And the, the new section in chapter, chapter six. Practice, practice, practice. That's the name of the game. Almost half of you got this wrong. All right, we're moving on. 
Nobody in the top five was touched. That's how elite these guys are. So round of applause to them yet again. Okay, we'll answer question number 30. 15 questions to go. Is this current affairs? What's going on here? Okay, no, no, no. It's, um, she's been relegated to history as well. Yeah, so it's Margaret Vester. How many people got this wrong? 11 people got this wrong. Static top five. Static top five. Three players reached an answer streak of three. Excellent. Manos, don't worry, man. You know, just, just, it's about accuracy. Yeah, the Kahoot thing and the league thing is about speed and whatnot. But look, at the end of the day, you know, basically the important thing is you pass the test. All of this is just for fun. But I get it, you know. Maybe you should get some better internet. <laughs> Anyways, three players have reached an answer streak of three. Great job. Uh, we have 15 questions to go. New question at the time. So this was one of the exams with the most number of new questions. The failure rate for this exam was quite high as well. Um, yes, so for the 16 people that got this wrong, uh, historically, Denmark has, um, it's not like the other countries where if you're a Republican, like for instance, the US, right? If you're a Republican, you're usually a Republican for life. If you're a Democrat, you're a Democrat for life and you're a member of the party. In Denmark, people vote, you know, people basically vote based on, you know, what they think is right, independent of who, of what party the person is in. And uh, for that reason, party memberships have, have, have kept falling since 1950. Um, okay, so now you know what you don't know. Now you know what you don't know. Fix this. Static top five. Static top five. SAJ is making a comeback with three in a row. I'm not sure if it's a guy or girl. I'm guessing it's a dude. Oh my! He's on fire! Next one. You've seen this before. Please get this right, everyone. This is, I think, question number two or three and the most frequently asked questions. Ah, oh, man, I thought that was perfect, but okay. Four people got this wrong. Uh, Denmark joined the United Nations in 1945 at the end of World War II and the same year that the United Nations was created. Um, this is definitely a question that you need to know the answer to for the four people that got this wrong, so plug that knowledge gap. Trayon has the highest answer streak of 32. That's a perfect score. And he's not, and he's still not number one. Krish is popping, man. Perfect score. Oh my! He's on fire! That was for Trayon. We're getting to the end of this. You know the answer to this. Please, if you all get this right. He gets an explosion. Oh, man. Okay. Um, one person got this wrong. Gunlo's day is the 5th of June. Well, now you know what you don't know. Please plug that knowledge gap. It's important. Um, static top five. Fazakas is back in the game with three in a row, and she's on fire. She's on fire. Okay. Um, what was I going to say? Yes, another way to accumulate points is to stay for both sessions. So if you notice, um, someone commented on, uh, I think it was, uh, I can't remember, on Steph. And uh, how come Steph has stayed for 23 cahoots? That's because Steph stays for two sessions. And Steph 
accumulates those 900 um, points that he can get for every question. And that's why he's number one. I don't think he did it strategically, but that's just his, his state. All right, we're well, moving on to the next one. Um, we've got 12 questions to go. I've seen this before. Right, so um, two people got this wrong. Darby, I'm not sure. Oh man, I don't know, man. Um, but just get back in if you can again. I'll, I'll add the points later on. Okay. Um, what was I saying here? Two people got this wrong. So only members of Dance for the Care can pay the church tax. All right. Next one. Okay. So Darby fell out of the top five. Said. Um, the cahoots is halted. Sonia is in the goal league. She is number two. Houston is back in the top five. This guy is a fighter. Sonia has the highest answer sheet of 34. That's a perfect score. Perfect score. She's on fire. She's on fire. All right. Houston is back in the top five. Round of applause to Houston. So far, the top five guys have accumulated over 30,000 points each, over 31,000 points each. So that's a good session for most of you. Uh, we have 11 questions to go. This is the last history question. You've seen this before as well. Three people got this wrong, so um, you can appeal the decision of the Burat to the Landsrat, and you can appeal the decision of the Landsrat to the Hoyesrat, and after that, you cannot appeal any longer. So this is the Danish court system. Three people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Now you know what you don't know. Plug that knowledge gap. All right, so this is the end of the history section. At the moment, we have Krish, Trajan, Titan, Sonia, and Houston in the top five. We're moving on to current affairs and then Danish values. Three players have reached an answer streak of eight. Excellent. Um, the maximum number of points you can get for this session is 45,000. Most people, uh, well, top five guys get very close to that. No one really gets a perfect 45K score. All right, we're moving to current affairs. I will be discussing the theme. I do not expect that you know the answers to this, but if you do, it's a plus for you. I will be discussing the theme though. Yeah, okay. This is a... Uh... So the coronavirus was a major world pandemic. And this is discussing how that pandemic affected Denmark. Mercy, don't worry, okay? So don't, you know, don't say things like this, like, I'm so bad at history. You just haven't practiced. Just put it, just practice. And I'm telling you, you'll be surprised. You'll surprise yourself. Okay. 80% um, of people got uh, the vaccine at least twice. Um, do all current affairs become history questions and later tests, or do they never get asked again? That's a very good question. Um, from my experience, some of them actually do. So they make it into the book. And um, an example was uh, the, the commissioner, Ma Margaret Vestager. I think the year that she was appointed, she was current affairs. And then, as you can see, in 2022, it became history. But it takes, obviously, it takes like a year or two before, you know, it goes into the history section of the book. Um, thanks for that question, man. Um, we're moving on to the next one. Okay, it's still a static top five. 
Static top five. 13 players reached an answer streak of seven. We're moving on to the next current affairs question. Okay, so this is political parties and their leaders. The theme that we've spoken about, we've done the Kahoot for that as well. So let's see how you guys do on this. Wow, I'm actually surprised. Okay, I'm guessing most of you haven't actually practiced. Um, let me just show you something. So when you go to the website and click on uh, Infos as Poem Quizzes, you get here, right? If you go to Current Affairs, you see a whole section dedicated to Denmark political parties and their leaders. That's because it's a recurring theme. Also, the government is a recurring theme, okay? And as you can see, I've already started uh, creating Current Affairs questions. Um, so please go through these to cover um, those two recurring themes as you can see here. So the people that um, have covered that got it right, the people that haven't got it wrong. So please cover that. There's not much else to be said about this. Next one, static top five, round of applause to you guys. You guys are titans, man. All right, nine players reached an answer streak of eight. Excellent. Next one. So this was an election year for a referendum. So usually whenever there's an election, like forketing or communal or referendum, it shows up in current affairs. This year there hasn't been any elections, so we won't have any questions like this. But let's see how you guys do on this. If you don't get this right, I'm not, you know, I'm not mad at you. Yeah, so um, the... Dance for Albert and has listened at New Bali were saying that we should vote no. And um, yeah, how many people got this wrong? 24 people, so almost half of you. Someone is asking, when does the period for current affairs questions begin and end? Like, can they ask about things that happened the week before the test? No. So the test is usually created, I'm guessing, a month before. So they're not going to ask anything a week before the test. So you don't worry about that. But it covers a six-month period. So the test is on the 29th of November and six months backwards. So from June. Um, everything from June is relevant. Um, and like I said, um, these current affairs questions follow a definite theme. Okay. So when you're looking in the news, look out for... Um, headlines that fit a theme. Like I've mentioned here, the theme here is election. The previous one was um, Denmark political parties and the leaders. The previous one, I can't remember what that was actually. Um, I, I can't remember the question, but I think I mentioned the theme when I saw that question. But anyways, moving on to the next one. Um, Sama is back with an answer streak of three. Excellent. Um, James, I hope that answered your question. Next one. All right, so this is about a famous sports person. Once you guys are done answering, then I'll talk about this. All right, so the theme of this is about, um, say, a, a famous, a prominent sports person in Denmark. In this case, Christian Eriksen collapsed when he was playing football. I can't remember what tournament it was. I think it was the Europeas, you, the yeah, you, you, European Mesterscape. What's that thing in English? I've forgotten. Anyways, he collapsed and he came back in March 2022. An example of this um a relevant question that has happened in the last six months is Carolina Wozniacki she's come out of retirement and she played in the U.S. Open and she did really well so that is a potential question that might show up in current affairs I've created a question out of that and it's also in the current affairs section on the website two people got this wrong this is current affairs so 
the theme is important. Yes, Euro 2022. Thank you very much. Um, five players have reached an answer streak of 10. Excellent. All right. So we're going to the last affairs question. We have Chris, Trey, and Titan, Sonia. It's been a static top five. Static top five. And Houston at number five. Everyone has over 36,000 points in this session. It's going to go uh, in the league and we'll see what the new positions will be. All right. Last one. Yes. So this is some kind of political scandal. Um, I'll talk about this when you guys are done answering. All right, so there was a political scandal. Um, and uh, what's her name? Inga Stoibia was uh, convicted of breaking the law. The theme of this is a political scandal, so look out to political scandals. And um, usually for these types of uh, cases, it's the Griesrat that is the, that's in charge of um, presiding over these cases. Okay, um, Javid is making a comeback with three in a row. Yes. All right, Danish values. This is a no brainer. So, well, not much else to be said about this. All right. So, Krish has a streak with 41 correct answers in a row. Krish is number one. And Krish is on fire. So, we know what that means. All right. Well done, man. Next one. So there is gender equality in dance folk in, in contrast, um, females cannot be bishops in the Catholic Church. All right, moving on to the next one. Static top five. Static top five. All right, so most of you are doing well in this. By the way, um, to pass the test, you need to score, you need to uh, score 36 out of 45 questions correct, out of which you need to um, have at least four out of the five Danish values questions correct. So if you're not doing well in this, don't worry. You're, you're pointing out, uh, you're, you're figuring out your weak spots. Uh, Krish is at it yet again. Manos, it won't be. There might be one or two questions that repeat. So don't, uh, you know, don't have your hopes up too high for that specific case. Um, I did a whole session on Danish values. I put that session on YouTube, so please check out that video to understand um, there's, there is a pattern, I uh, started seeing a pattern for Danish values as well. 
All right. All right. No one in this top five is moving, man. Wow. Static top five. Wow. All right. 21 players just hit an answer streak of four. Last question. Ah, shucks. This was about, is Denmark amongst the three countries in the world that were ranked for the lowest corruption? So the answer is yes or no. I need to fix this. Yes, Denmark definitely is. So there's a um, low corruption in Denmark and that's what the question was trying to emphasize. All right, podium time. So, Titan at number three, Train at number two, and Krish at number one. We got Sonia and Houston at number four and five. NewlyDanish.com